the Ideal Calibrations Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to be talking about why not to calibrate using real pentane. Um, we're going to be demonstrating this on Industrial Scientific MX6, and I'm just going to show you guys what kind of the differences are between methane and pentane for calibration. Uh, some of the companies out there recommend using a, a pentane LEL as a calibration for the calibration gas, and unfortunately what can happen is that the sensor is poisoned in here, it won't respond to methane when you go into a methane field or if there's a natural gas leak. So I'm just going to kind of demonstrate this for you so you guys can see it for yourself. There's some literature online about it that's been written, but I thought it could, might be better if I show you guys what happens here. So what we're going to do, first we're going to set up the monitor. It's currently set to be calibrated using pentane. I'm just going to show you how we do that. So go to view, configure, up to sensor, go down to the sensors list, Go down to LEL and go to set cal gas. Now right now you can see it's set to 25% LEL pentane. That's recommended by Industrial Scientific currently. Now it's got pentane, pentane, so we're going to go all the way through here. Click OK. There it is. OK. And it's set to show pentane. So what we're going to do now is calibrate this here to pentane. Go down to sensor, sensors, go to LEL, and we're going to go to cal. Calibrate LEL sensor, we're going to click OK, and it's going to zero. Meanwhile, I've got a blend of 25% LEL pentane calibration gas that Ideal Gases has put together for us. And I've got a nice demand flow regulator here. And what we'll be doing is plugging this in here and letting it calibrate. Now it takes a minute to recognize that there's calibration gas here. But it should get it pretty quick. Okay. Now it recognizes there's calibration gas. Now I'm purposely using a monitor. It's a little bit older. Uh, it's been through some use and abuse. And the LEL sensor on it has been kind of exposed to some things it shouldn't have. Some sulfides and maybe a little bit of silicone. So it, it's kind of old. It's nearing the end of its life. But you'll notice it's still recognizing the pentane rather high. It's showing. 40 out of uh, the 25% LEL, and it'll show you about how high it will get up to. So, judging by this, the LEL sensor is not near death at all. It's actually working rather well, and it's got quite a long life ahead of it. So, now it passes with 42. We're going to go ahead and take the gas off, and now we're going to let this air out from it. You notice it shows 25% LEL nicely. Now what we're going to do is close this up and we're going to bring in a methane cylinder. We get a cylinder of 25% LEL, or not 25, I'm sorry, 50% LEL methane. And I'll show you guys the difference and what happens here. Okay, so here we've got 50% LEL methane. I'm just going to attach this on. Nice and tight. And we're going to let it go through. Now, one of the things people often do before they calibrate, if they're changing cylinders so they don't let it air out. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that through so it pulls all the gas that may or may not have been trapped inside this regulator out of that regulator before we do any calibrations. You know some monitors going up rather quickly. Okay, that should be long enough to get all the gas out of there so we're going to detach it and let it drop back down. Now while it's doing that we're going to set it up for a correlation factor for methane response. So let's say you've gone back to the office and you've calibrated to pentane, and now, but you know you've just gotten a call and there's maybe a natural gas leak. So you want to set it to methane. What you go do is go to view, configure, sensor, sensors, down to LEL, and you go to set cal gas. Now here we're going to go to set the correlation factor. Oops of methane. Now what this will do 
it'll set it so that methane response set it for methane response. That way, if we run into methane, it should show us the actual value of the methane. I'm gonna hit OK and then exit. Okay, now we're showing zero. Now remember, this is a 50% LEL cylinder of methane. I'm gonna plug it in here and let's see the value we get. It's claiming about 50% LEL, but if you look here, it's only gone up to about 18% LEL. Now, it's got a little bit more time, but the, uh, the MX-6 has a really, really low T90 time. It's like 30 seconds or so, maybe a little less. So, usually, and the T90 time is the time it takes to hit 90% of the gas. So, it might be seeing a total of 20% LEL methane here. Now, that's a big deal. If you were in a field that could be halfway to exploding, and you're only seeing 18% on your meter. So you gotta remember, you gotta kind of watch these sort of things for this. So this is why I'd, I say not to calibrate ever using pentane ever. Now let's pull it off and we'll show you one other thing here. Now we're gonna calibrate this monitor to methane, and I'll show you it comes up with a danger warning if we calibrate it to methane, saying that the sensor is near dead. Well, that's one of the things you have to know if you're calibrating to pentane, and the sensor's saying it's fine. Well, then you're you're in big trouble if it's actually near death and you go into a, a field of methane. So let's set it up for calibration to methane. Configure, sensor, sensors, LEL, set cal gas. And we're going to put this up to 50% LEL. And we're going to use our cal gas, it's going to be methane. There we go. Okay, now it's saying that, hey, you know. It's not going to be into effect until we actually calibrate. So let's calibrate the monitor now. So it's going to zero out the sensor first. Okay, we passed zero. So now we're going to calibrate it to methane. Notice kind of how long it takes to find that 50% LEL methane point. If it calibrates at all. Oh, here we go. So you'll notice even with 50% methane on there, it's showing 30 for marginal. So that's when it's time to order a new sensor saying it's near death. That's a big problem. See, now it shows 50 once we calibrate it to real methane. But that could really be the difference between life or death or getting out of a situation. Now, if this sensor got a little bit more poisoned, it might not respond to methane at all, but it would, it would calibrate just fine to pentane. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email address is james at idealcalibrations.com, or you can call us here. The number is 734 nine five six zero five three nine all right thank you very much i hope you guys have a great day